Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to make a quick video announcing my newest Udemy course, which is Materialized CSS from scratch with five projects. 119 is just the Udemy price. I'm going to put a limited promo link in the description for just 10 bucks. Now, I know many of you have taken my Bootstrap 4 course, and this is the same type of thing, only you'll be learning Materialize, which is a great framework that's based on Google's material design scheme. Okay, so this course is for anyone that knows basic HTML and CSS. We're going to start from scratch with a custom sandbox to learn all the CSS and JavaScript components, and then we'll move on to create some really good looking real world projects, which I'll show you in a second. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are JavaScript programmers, PHP, Python programmers, etc. And this is a great course to give you some front end UI creation skills, not just materialize, but HTML5 semantics. We do some CSS3, um, custom CSS3 like image overlays, things like that. Uh, we do some custom JavaScript and jQuery for more interactive themes. And overall, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And you're free to use and customize the themes in your own projects and portfolio. All right, so let's take a look at what we'll be building in the course. So like I said, we're going to start off with a sandbox. So the first four sections are learning sections. And it's basically a custom UI that I built, um, built of just a bunch of HTML pages. So you can see this is for the buttons and icons lecture uh, for text and background colors. We have the nav bar, um, collections and badges. So we're just going to go through all the different classes, all the different CSS components. We have all the forms all the different form inputs, stuff like that. And then we have the JavaScript components. So like the slider or the carousel um, feature discovery, which is really cool. Uh, we have the material box, which is like a light box, the slider. So this is a image slider with some captions, the modals, of course. So if we want to a modal or a fixed footer modal, bottom sheet modal. OK, we also have like parallax, parallax effects, side nav. OK, so all the, all the components that are included with the framework. And then once we get through that, we're going to start on our project. So the first one is called Travelville, which is kind of like a theme for, I guess, travel agencies. And it's a it's a one page theme. And we're using a slider, as you can see, with some captions that come in from all different sides. And for the navigation, if I click on like search, it'll it'll scroll down nicely to that area. We're using the scroll spy component that materialize uses. OK, for the search destinations, we're using autocomplete. So like, like if I put an A in here, you can see all this stuff will come up and we can search for Aruba. Obviously, this is just a front end course, so it's, it doesn't have any kind of database or anything like that. Um, then we have some boxes with some material icons some cards with some images and some icons here. These are actually font awesome five icons. Then we have a photo gallery using material box and a contact form. All right, so pretty simple project, but it looks really nice. And all of these are completely responsive. You can see if I go down to here, it's very, very responsive and everything is just stacked in one row. OK, we still have all of our images and they still open up in a nice materialized box or, or light box. And we have our side nav. All right, so that's the first project. Then we're doing a project called Kwazu, which is like a cloud hosting theme. I got the idea from Heroku, kind of took some ideas from their their style, their their color scheme and so on and um, some of the content. So we just have like a basic showcase area, some icons, the about us. We did some CSS overlays here so that we have the purple overlay over some high quality images, um, some programming language uh, images here. And then we have the testimonial, which is a slider as well. So we can go through testimonials. We have a couple pages. This is the solutions page. We're using the tab component here. And then we just have some other icons and then we have the sign up page, which is basically just um, uh, we're using the grid here. We're using a, a sign up form with a select list and then we have a login modal. All right. And we have some uh, font awesome social icons up here. So pretty simple project, but I think it looks really nice. And of course, it's responsive. So if I make it smaller, 
you can see everything stacks nicely we have our sidebar get the login link here as well so that's the second project the third one is going to be uh, probably the most interactive one this is madmin it's an admin dashboard and notice that if i reload we have some cool effects going on here so one we have a preloader it's going to wait one second and just show that little preloader we also have a jquery script that's going to make these count upwards from zero you see it'll take one second for them to count up we're also inputting um, a canvas js chart here it's just dummy data but it's basically for display you could obviously change it to real data coming from a database if you wanted to get into that but uh, this is just a front end thing uh, also we can approve and deny comments and it'll show the little toast module and down here we created a little quick to do's thing and the, this actually works so if i type something in here we can actually add it, it says to do added we can also delete them so very interactive and down here we can add posts we can add categories or users okay uh, we even implemented ck editor which is a WYSIWYG editor here now you can't actually add posts because this is just the front end there's no database but uh, it's a pretty clean UI with some nice interactivity. So then we have our posts, categories. These are just tables. And these all go to the post details page, which looks like this. OK, we have our comments. So we have some comments with some user images, users, which also have the images. And then the side nav, which looks pretty nice. And then we also created a logout page. So if I click on logout, I'm sorry, a login page, it'll take us to login.html, which looks like this. So it's a full theme. And obviously, if you wanted to build some kind of back end with PHP or something, you could connect that to it. All right. So the next one we're going to build is BizLand, which is a business consultation landing page. And it's basically a full uh, a full image here. We're using viewport heights. So no matter how I scale the browser, it's always going to be 100 percent this this image here. And if you notice, if I reload this nicely, this fades in nicely using scroll fire. Another thing we did is notice the transparent nav bar. If I start to scroll down when I hit a certain point, it's going to turn solid so that we can't see through it anymore. And you can actually read the text. OK, it's a fixed nav bar. All right. We also have scroll spy. So if I click on any of these links, it'll take us down to the, the correct spot. We have an about section, some boxes with some icons, some testimonials, and then we even implemented a Google map behind the contact form. So we'll be doing a little bit of JavaScript with the Google map API. All right, so that's that. And then the last theme is pretty simple. It's we're actually going to use SAS in this one. We're going to use materialize um, SCSS files and look at variables and things like that. So we can easily change the colors, the background color and so on. We're also using scroll fire so that if I scroll down a little, you'll see that the next project or, or the next image here will pop in and same thing with the last one. All right, so we get a little nice little fade in effect. And then if I click on the button here, it'll open up a modal with the image and um, the content, the star ratings and so on. OK, and then we just have a couple other pages that are identical, but they have different content. So this is for the logos and you can see it uses the scroll fire. Same thing with gaming. All right, so it works pretty nicely. And we just have our, our sidebar here with the, the links to the different pages. But the main focus of this is SAS. We're going to be using Koala, which is a GUI program to compile our SAS. I didn't want to get into any command line stuff, NPM or Gulp or anything like we did in the Bootstrap course. The reason for that is because if you go into the Q&A in the Bootstrap course, it's all stuff to do with Gulp people having issues with uh, the gulp file and, and NPM and stuff and it's nothing to do with bootstrap so I'm actually planning on redoing that course as well and we're gonna just take that that whole part out of it because it's been nothing but uh, nothing but a pain it does show you a, a couple more things how to um, how to have a like a, a dev workflow compiling SAS and moving files around and stuff but it's just a, it was just a headache so we're gonna take that out when we redo that course all right so everything is pretty simple and like I said you're free to use these themes in your portfolio or if you want to edit them and create your own sites from them 
um, you can do that as well okay so hopefully you guys will check this course out right now it's not published yet you can see it's still I'm still adding stuff to it but by the time this video is released it will be available and like I said I'll put a link for 10 bucks for 9.99 alright so thanks for watching guys and hopefully you check it out and I will see you in the next video